Howdy once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is episode number 53B, the answer to my What Is It series. Go back and watch 53A, but this is strictly the answers. Now, the first item is this tool, and almost everybody knew what it was and hated it. It's an exhaust pipe or tailpipe expander, and the whole idea is that when you're replacing mufflers or tailpipes or something like that, you're trying to use some of the old parts, and this could be inserted into a pipe and with great effort expanded. The only trouble is it didn't work. I vividly remember lying underneath my 51 Buick up on bricks, you know, there was no room to work, and it was the middle of the winter trying to get a pipe expanded, and uh, I was delusional thinking this would work, but in a real muffler shop they would have something like this, but it's hydraulically actuated with thousands and thousands of pounds of pressure and actually works. This is die cast. Someone said be sure and oil all the surfaces and the screw real well and it might help, but I think really it would work best to bring it up into contact with a pipe that has uh, clamp marks in it and just beat the heck out of it, trying to beat the clamp uh, impression out of it so you can reuse it. Little did we know back then that real muffler shops just cut off everything and threw it away and started from scratch rather than trying to piece things together when you're a college student on a budget. All right, enough ranting on that, but I have to admit I hated this. By the way, thank you for all of the answers. There were some wonderful ones in this particular episode and some really funny ones as well, so thank you for reacting. The next item here was sent to me by Joe Way. I mentioned that in the last video, and that is uh, his card, Sierra Specialty Auto, and I have to return this to him. But this is a measuring instrument for exhaust valves or engine valves. And there's the patent if you want to look it up. March 1934, there's the patent number. And pictures of it and a great explanation of what it does. So if you want to look that up, I'm not sure I can explain it very well. There's the trademark, the Beard Company. You know, there were a lot of aftermarket companies that made great tools that were used in dealerships, and this would have been too expensive for a man to have at home. I'm sure it came from a dealership. But as you can see, it is a bit of a micrometer. And this was used on valves to uh, change the length of the valve to fit an engine where there weren't adjustments uh, probably to the tappets and so on as we know them today. And this is the letter that Joe sent to me and he wants this back so I'm going to mail it back in the next few days. I've had it for a couple months already. But he said, I think I have another good tool for you. It's for determining the amount to be ground off the end of a valve stem after valve grinding on cars such as Model T and A4s which do not have adjustable valve lifters. He recently acquired this from a man who works on Model A's. I'm probably telling you more than you want to know, but you would put this part down into the engine, and this represents the engine, and here in fact is the camshaft, and that would give you the measurement that you needed. You would then take this part and put it down into the other part of the tool, and move the little micrometer up dial up until it touched the bottom. Then you had your measurement. And then finally you would take the valve and put it into this part, whatever it's called, and you can see it's too long, and you would grind a little bit off and do that repeatedly until the valve came all the way down like that and then you would have the correct length valve. I'm not sure if I told you exactly correct, the correct way to do that, but that's the gist of it. This tool was sent to me by one Mr. Lewis Howard who makes these. And it is a spark plug T 
tester, actually I should say a spark tester for small engines and this particular one is for a 14 by 1.25 millimeter spark plug. I guess he makes them in more than one size and the whole idea here is you take the spark plug out this way it's safe and you absolutely will not have the engine start on you and then screw this into the spark plug hole in the cylinder head now this hole releases the compression so you can spin it over freely put your spark plug wire here and watch for spark right here so that's how it works quite ingenious and thank you Louis or Louis and of course there are almost an infinite, num infinite number of varieties of spark testers for small engines such as this one there's your grounding clip and this one I think is a Briggs & Stratton product and you can check the power of the spark by changing the gap and this one just came in, in an auction box a couple days ago in that last auction that you watched where you can ch ignition spark checker also adjustable made by Lyle And lastly is this uh, item, and this is an antique item, it's not really a tool, but it's interesting enough, but almost everybody knew what it uh, is or was, and in fact it's a water diverter that goes on a pump, a windmill pump or a hand pump, and the pipe here could be any length you want, one foot or fifty feet, and it, this pipe would go to a water trough or a tank or something like that for the cattle out on the farm and this is cast iron nicely made apparently hundreds of companies made these I don't know if you can read this but uh, often there was a bale on here or something like this or a piece of wire but you'd need to drill some holes in here I don't know why this one doesn't have it and you know on the spout of a hand pump there's a little bit of a of a nib that holds a bucket bale or whatever on there and that, that's was meant to go on there and could easily be taken on and off if that was the the pump and used as such now a lot of funny comments that this was Paul Bunyan's or Jolly Green Giant's pipe and so on. That was funny, but kind of saddened me how many uh, comments there was regarding dope. I guess we really live in a drug culture because so many people talk about dope or drugs. It's kind of sad, really, that, that we've digressed to that level of... Uh, well, never mind. That's a rant. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure and watch for the next one coming up very soon. I still have a lot of things in stock. Please, at this time, don't send me any more things. I just got uh, too much. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now, and thanks for watching. See you next time.